Hello, world. Surprising but true. Every day on average. Record snowfall, killer tornadoes, devastating floods. There's no doubt about it. The weather in the USA has been positively wild. But why? Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. I'm talking about the sun. Sun spots, sun holes, sun cavalcades. See, I'm one of the top solar physicists in the world. You can look that up if you can figure out how to spell that word that I just perpetrated upon you. And, well, in the two and a half years that I've been being awesome, the sun has been being quantifiably strange. In its activities, its movements, solar flares, its coronal mass ejections, its crazy ejaculations, and its sunspots at time have looked super freaky. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the super freakiest sunspot situation we've ever seen here at Thor News, ever. It almost looks like, uh, redacted. I was gonna say something super creepy, super doomy, but then I got redacted. You may be like, wow, Thor, you're acting weird. And I'll be like, yeah, I'm in a bad mood. What's your problem? Deal with it. Oh no, don't thumbs down me. It hurts so bad. It's like a little jolt of electricity flies through the air, and hits me right in the heart. And I'm like, I matey. He wasn't from Australia, so he down thumbs me, bro. So yeah, I mean, as I've told you before, and I'll tell you for your fresh timers, situations like this where the visuals of the sun do all the talking, all the sciencing, all the learning, I, really, I don't really have to say much. I think we just had another solar flare, and another solar flare, and then I was like, why do I always have to have imaginary girlfriends? Can you hear that? Yes. It's God saying, stop bitching about your love life, man. Things are going to change soon. Thank you. I love you. It's true. All right, so, did you hear that? That was thunder. The weather's been weird. What? The sun's been weird. So I definitely am calling a Thor News Weird Solar and Earth Weather Watch for the next, oh, what the heck, let's say month, but really two weeks. But seriously, if this side of the sun is continuing to act up. And remember, we've lost both stereo satellites now. The SDO's been acting wiggy, and the Helio viewer is down. So, coincidence, correlation, or causation? I don't know. I don't like C words, so I try not to figure out what they mean. You understand what I mean, cavalcade? Cavalry? That's why I'm a caustic Caucasian, causing trauma drama all over the places. Shut up. Yeah, no, go ahead. Just turn the video off, man. I'm just trying to show you the sunspot and the sun's face, the sun side. You know, it's like pinballs bouncing around the inside of the sun. It's like sun snake going from side to side to side. Going, hello, hello, hello. I want to get out and be a giant comet. Earth magnet. Did you know the Earth has a magnetic field? Well, if you didn't, you do now. Hello, baby. All right, they look like blooming flowers. Very scary blooming flowers of total and absolute doom and destruction. Oh, I embellished there a bit, I think. That's right. I'm an embellisher. But look at these things. Look at this activity we see upon the sun. Those are giant, massive, hugacious. Usually we have sunspots. Here, we get sunspot pairs binary sunspots ain't that cute look at those things bloom one two three four five six the double peaked minimal solar maximum that was never ending and really weird just gets weirder so come on along let's have some internet's fun shall we here's the deal baby i'm gonna be a wild rebel and if you can handle that let's do -si do hibbity skibbity do It does look less ominous if we look at it in pretty colors. Just imagine them like seas of water and lava growing. Coronal separation. Yeah, so our, uh, we got solar tower, solar tornadoes, solar goblins, solar gremlins, YouTube trolls, and more magnetic loops than a human being can count. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't worried about nothing. Snap, crackle, pop. There was a lot of non-stop activity on the sun. We got some 
dancing, flailing, and flaying over here. And then we got some zip zap pow over there, over here. It's magical, marvelous, incredible, mesmerizing. Why don't we create some unmeltable material and then just launch it into the middle of the sun and find out what's in there? That sounds like a genius idea to me. We got some solar lightning going on. High five to the Electric Universe gang. Boom! That looked like a shit ton of plasma. And it's actually a scientific term. Shit ton. I just say it all funny like. Like your face. Okay, so you got giant parts of the sun ripping off here. Giant parts of the sun ripping off here. Good times, party people. I'm sure it's just wild coincidence that most of the solar cameras have gone offline. And NASA's ignoring solar physics like it was a red-headed stepchild living under the cupboard for Privet Drive, Harry Potter universe. Sweet. It's electrifying.